it can be quite helpful to take a look at your poo. The Bristol Stool Scale was developed in 1997 by researchers at Bristol University and it's just a really simple to use scale which assesses your waist to see what it's like and tell you something about the function of the body. You can just compare your poo to a picture and use that to find out how long it's taking food to pass through the digestive system. When we eat food, it gets broken down in the stomach first and then passes through the intestines. And right at the end in the colon is where the water is taken out of the food. So how long it takes to pass through there will vary what it's like when it comes out. So there are seven categories in the Bristol stool scale. Let's take a look. Number one, separate hard lumps like nuts. So just about all the water has been removed. It's going to be a stool that's quite hard to pass. Strong sign, constipation. Number two, sausage shaped but lumpy. That's what it says on the tin. Number three, sausage shaped but with cracks on the surface. Number four, it's like a sausage, smooth and soft. You can see it's getting a bit easier to pass now. Number five, soft blobs with clear cut edges. Number six, a mushy stool with ragged edges. And number seven, watery with no solid piecing at all, diarrhea. It's reckoned that you should be aiming to get a number four. Clearly changes to your diet and your lifestyle, particularly how much water you drink can affect this. A big study was done comparing the motions of uh, vegetarians and omnivores. It was found that on the whole vegetarians seem to be a little bit softer, closer to the number four than the meat eaters, or like number three on average. Fast or slow transit of food through the digestive system, so how long it takes to go through and therefore how much water is absorbed, can be a sign of issues with diet or some medications. Clearly, if you're scoring quite high on the scale and heading towards diarrhea, it could be a sign of some infection in the gut. It's a useful scale because it's so simple to use and people can check their own poo, so you don't have to have kind of embarrassing conversations with medics. You don't really want to have to take one of those little pots into the doctors if you can help it. You can maybe check it out for yourself. So it's quite a useful stool tool. <laughs> For more information on our live, interactive science and engineering shows, check out our website and connect with us through Facebook and Twitter.